Do you think a lot about Jesus? Because I do. Jesus Christ, the man, the myth, the savior. I think I just think a lot about healing in general. I, I watch this guy, Tom, goes around healing people on the street. And uh, Tom, I, that's, it's commendable. And actually, I want to do it. But then forcing people or asking people, telling people that they have to accept Jesus as their savior. You know, Jesus was a great guy. So is Thomas Jefferson. And they did save us in a way. They, they saved the game so that if anything fucks up, we can at least go back to what they did. The story of Jesus is kind of fucked up. They hung him up on a cross and let him bleed to death or suffocate or whatever. And then passed out a remembrance of it in the crucifix. Like, don't fuck us over. I just picked up this book again. Oh, sorry about the whole microphone thing, man. I got a new microphone in the mail. Should be here today or tomorrow. This is a great book. This book was what I was reading or having read to me before I started making YouTube videos or internet videos. It was uh, The Four Agreements This book is true, man. The Four Agreements. Alright. His mother, Sarita. His father, Jose Luis. His grandfather, Leonardo Messias. And his sons, Miguel, Jose Luis, and Leonardo. 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 Anyway, should I read this whole... The Acknowledgements or The Toltec? Episode 1. Thousands of years ago, the Toltec were known throughout southern Mexico as women and men of knowledge. Anthropologists have spoken of the Toltec as a nation or a race. But in fact, the Toltec were scientists and artists who formed a society to explore and conserve the spiritual knowledge and practices of the ancient ones. They came together as masters, Nagwals, and students at Tutuahakan, the ancient city of pyramids outside Mexico City, known as the place where man becomes God. That sounds cool. Over the millennia, the Nagwals, Nagwals, were forced to conceal the ancestral wisdom and maintain its existence in obscurity. European conquest coupled with rampant misuse of personal power by a few of the apprentices made it necessary to shield the knowledge from those who were not prepared to use it wisely or who might intentionally misuse it for personal gain. Uh, fortunately, the esoteric Toltec knowledge was embodied and passed on through generations by different lineages of Nagrules. Though it remained veiled in secrecy for hundreds of years, Ancient prophecies foretold 
the coming of an age when it would be necessary to return the wisdom to the people. Now, Don Miguel Ruiz, inaugural from the East Knight lineage, has been guided to share with us the powerful teachings of the Toltec. Nice. Toltec knowledge arises from the same essential unity of truth as all the sacred esoteric traditions found around the world. Though it is not a religion, it honors all the spiritual masters who have taught on earth. While it does not embrace spirit, it is most accurately described as a way of life distinguished by the ready accessibility of happiness and love. Well, I feel like I've already won.